This is the data that we will be using for the histogram. The table will be showing the completion times of the 7th graders when they climbed the rock wall. The column on the left side will be on the x-axis of the histogram and will show the completion time for the 7th graders. The column on the right side is the y-axis. The y-axis shows the number of students that climbed the rock wall. Once you have the table ready, you start on the histogram. First you make a title and label the axes. The title for this histogram is 7th grade completion time on rock wall. The x-axis, like I said for the frequency table, is the completion time for the 7th graders. The y-axis would be the number of 7th graders. Now we get to making the bars. The bar that you see shaded are the first two boxes from the frequency table. Because there were two 7th graders that finished between 40 and 50 seconds, the bin labeled 40 to 50 would go up to the second line on the histogram because the second line represents two students. A bin is arranged between two numbers. For example, if the bin was 40 to 50, the bin would represent numbers that are at least 40 but less than 50. Next, you fill in the rest of the histogram. The distribution for this histogram is symmetric. And that's how you make a histogram.